boys and girls, welcome. Today we're going to be working on uh, parallel lines and transversal lines. We're going to be talking about corresponding, alternate interior, alternate if exterior, and consecutive interior lines. And we've got a short video to start today to give you a little idea of what we're talking about. Next, we're going to look at our transversal lines. So this is the line that passes through two lines, so our two parallel lines right here and right here that we talked about. And it's, they're in the same plane at two distinct points. So they cross at these two distinct points. And this is going to be our transversal line. we're going to talk about are vertically opposite angles. So what does that sound like? They're opposite of each other. So when we have our two lines that intersect, so it intersects at this point, at this point, it's forming angles. We can see 
see that all the numbered angles on the board. So where they form opposite to each other at the vertex, this is where we have our vertically opposite angles. So it's going to look like angle two and three. vertically opposite of each other, six and seven, and then we can also go the other way and have angles five and eight, and one and four. Okay. All right, so next we're going to look at our corresponding angles. So corresponding angles are the ones at the same location at each intersection. So here we have our two intersections. They're going to be the same location. So two and six are corresponding angles. Um, one and five will be corresponding angles. So next, back to back, we're going to have alternate interior and alternate exterior. So we're going to look at interior first. So each pair of these angles are found inside those parallel lines. Interior, think inside. So that is going to be like angles four and five, and then angles three and six. They're interior, so they're in between the parallel lines. And then we have our alternate exterior. So each pair of these angles are outside of the parallel lines, opposite. So exterior, think outside of the parallel lines. And those are going to be your angles like one. the same color, that means they are equal to each other. They have the same degree. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is consecutive interior angles. And these are similar to the one we did before where we have our parallel lines and they're going to be inside the parallel lines. They're going to be in this spot, they're not going to be outside the parallel lines. So uh, they're corresponding and they would be this one and this one are corresponding, and then the other ones would be the five, would be the five and the three, because they're inside uh, this angle six and four line up along the transversal line, as do five and three, but they're both inside the parallel lines. Okay, so examples. Do we have any um, volunteers to come up and help us with some of these examples? Okay, so how are we feeling about this lesson today? How about giving me a thumbs up if you feel pretty on task here, you think you know what we're doing? If you're not so much, maybe sideways, if you need a little bit more help, and if you're not getting it at all, why don't you give me a thumbs down? Okay, great. Okay, looks like everybody's getting it so far. All right, I need a couple volunteers to come up um, that can kind of help us solve this problem here. And tell me if you can find solve for the angles X and Y. Okay, so next we've got some worksheets, and this is Longauer, and I will be walking around helping you with them. What we'd like you to try to do is try to do as many of the even problems as you can. Uh, we'll give you about 15 minutes to work on some of the even problems, and then we'll have about a five-minute time where you can pair and share with a partner at your desk and compare your answers and see how you do on those. 
And then from that point, we'll have a couple of you come up and show us how you came up with your uh, angles and how you figured them out and see if you can label them for the class, okay? All right, you guys did a great job working in groups and coming up and sharing all your answers. I think we have a good understanding about what we learned here today. So we're going to pass out a quick little exit slip quiz. It's just two questions, a little couple A's and B's on the parts. And you're going to fill that out just so we can see where you are, what you understand for today. And then you're going to take the worksheets home that we did in class and you're going to do the odd numbers for homework. And then we'll go over those tomorrow.